Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. Stathis again. This is The Forest. Look once, look again. This could be a little harder than the other one. This bright white streak is on the back of a little creature with a loud voice. Look again. In summer and fall, chipmunks are busy gathering food. They carry nuts, seeds, and fruit in their cheek pouches. Then they bury the food in underground dens. A chipmunk's den has many little rooms. Some are for sleeping and some are for storing food. When winter comes, a chipmunk will eat its hidden food. Look once. If you get too close to this scaly leg, it will disappear inside a shell. And look again. This is a box turtle. When scared, a box turtle pulls itself into its shell, tight as a box. Some people keep box turtles as pets. They can live 40 years or more. Look once. These are not little eggs of a creepy crawly. They are from a plant that carpets the forest floor. And look again. Wow. Ferns have tiny brown balls underneath their leafy parts. The balls are called spore cases. When the cases are ripe, millions of tiny spores fly away with the wind. Some land nearby and some travel far. A few will grow into new ferns. Look once. In this, is this part of a tree? Is is it part of a rock? No, it is from the head of a big bellowing fellow who lives in the northern woods. A bull moose wears a crown of antlers. In the summertime, these antlers are covered with soft furry skin called velvet. In the fall, the velvet falls off. The hard bony antlers will soon fall off too. Next spring, the bull moose will grow new antlers. They will be even bigger than this year's antlers. <laughs> Look once. This looks feathery, but it is not from a bird. It belongs to an animal that flutters around at night. Look. Again. <clears throat> it is one antenna of a big colorful Cecropia moth. This male moth has two feathery antennas. He uses them like a nose. A male moth can smell female moths three miles away. Look once. What is at the other end of this black tip tail? Hmm. <laughs> It is an ermine, a short-tailed weasel. In the summer, an ermine's fur is dark. By winter, the ermine turns snow white, except for its black-tipped tail. Why do you think an ermine changes its coat? Oops. Okay, look once. What tree has bark that looks like paper? Look again. A white birch is also called paper birch. You can see why. Years ago, Native Americans used papery birch bark to make canoes. Birch bark has many layers. The outer layers peel naturally, but the inner layers make a tight seal around the tree's trunk. Never peel a birch's bark or you might harm its skin. If water and insects get in, they can hurt the tree. And then there they are. Thank you, boys and girls. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my page. Give me any suggestions or I'll just keep reading. Thank you. Bye.